the bear seeing bears in the dark. Being afraid of the dark just it doesn't just happen to you. It happens sometimes to little bears too. Brother Bear, said Sister impatiently, are you going to take all day to pick your books? Sister and Brother Bear were at the Bear Country Library. Sister had already chosen her books and was waiting at the checkout desk. Hold your horses, said Brother. I'm looking for a good mystery. Mr. Bear usually took out storybooks and books about nature, and sometimes books of, of poems. Brother liked those too, but he, but lately he'd become interested in mysteries, especially spooky ones. Hey, this one looks good, he said finally. Okay, let's check out. Hmm, said Sister, looking at the cover, it was called The Case of Crying Cave. Of the Crying, of the crying Cave. Mm -hmm. It looks scary to me. Say, this is really good, said Brother later that evening when the Bear family had settled down for some reading. Would you like me to read it to you? He asked Sister. Sister was looking at a storybook about three kittens who were arguing about which was the prettiest. And it was a little boring. Are, or are you scared, teased brother? Of course not, said Sister. She left her book on the floor and climbed onto the bench to sit beside him. The mystery... The mystery began quietly. It told about some bear scouts who were on an overnight camp out. When the scouts discovered a dark Secret cave, Brother's mystery began to get a little exciting. Ex Oof. And when the cave and when the cave began to cry and wail, it was anything but quiet. Cried the deep, dark, mysterious cave. Read Brother with a lot of expression. Stop, said sister, putting her fingers in her ears. That's enough. And she went back to her storybook. Scaredy bear, scaredy bear, teased brother. And that's quite enough of that, added Papa Bear, looking up from his paper. At the cub's bedtime, Papa and Mama said good night. Turned off the light and left the cubs in the usual sleepy darkness. Outside the treehouse, the bright, busy sounds of the day had given uh, given way to the soft, soothing sounds of night. The quiet conversation of frogs and toads, the soft cry of the owl, and the the sigh of the night wind. And if you listened very hard, you could almost hear the softest sound of all. The sound of lightning bugs switching their lights off, on and off, on and off. But inside the treehouse, Mr. Bear wasn't even beginning to fall asleep that night. The dark didn't seem the, the least bit quiet and sleepy. In fact, 
It seemed like the spooky darkness in a scary cave. Oh, oh a scary, scary, scary cave. In the friendly old chest of drawers that uh, and funny clothes tree that Papa had made didn't seem so friendly and funny. They seemed more like cave creatures. So when Brother decided to tease her a little more by making a whale noise, whaling noise, it a really spooky whaling noise. It gave her, it gave her quite a scare. Mama, Papa, she cried. Hurry, come quick! And come quickly they did. Papa rushed into the dark room and tripped over the clothes tree. Mama rushed in after Papa and tripped over him. In the commotion, Sister fell out of bed and landed on both of them. Then Brother, who had started it, started it all with spooky well, turned on the light. What a mess! Sister, still scared, was holding on to Papa. Papa was holding on to the toe he had stubbed. And Mama was looking for the night night cap she had lost in the confusion. All three of them were pretty annoyed with Brother Bear. <laughs> it turned out to be a very long night in the bear's treehouse. Papa and Mama tried to explain there was nothing to be afraid in, of in the dark, except maybe running into a clothes tree and stubbing your toe. But it didn't do any good. Sister absolutely refused to go to sleep with the light off, and Brother po positive. positive Lee positively in, positively and insisted that he couldn't fall asleep with the light on mm. next morning the bear family was very sleepy eyed boy said brother yawning I sure don't want to go through another light night like that Neither do I, said Papa, and I think I have an idea that might help. He took Sister's hand. Come, come with me, he said. Where are we going, she wanted to know. Up to the attic. The attic, but it's dark in the attic, even in the daytime. I know, said Papa, but there... Something I want to show you. Anyway, there's nothing so special about the dark. It's just part of nature. Like the light. It's, use, it's your imagination that makes the dark seem spooky sometimes. What's imagination? Asked Sister. Imagination is what makes us think that chests of Doors and clothes trees are cave creatures. I wish I didn't have one, said Sister. Don't say that, said Papa. A lively imagination is one of the best things a cub can have. It, it's imagination that lets us paint pictures, make up poems, invent inventions. The trick is to take charge of your imagination and not let it take charge of you. When they got to the attic, Papa began to rummage through boxes looking for something. Sister tried to follow Papa's advice and not let her imagination take charge. And it worked! A spooky shape turned out to be the shadow of some old tail, which looked what looked like a giant that was really some piled up furniture. Mm -hmm. 
Here it is, said Papa, my old nightlight. The one I used when I was a cub and had a little trouble falling asleep in the dark. Sister couldn't quite believe that her big, powerful Papa was ever afraid of the dark. Oh, sure, said Papa. Most of us are at one time or another. How about reading the rest of the case of the crying cave, sister? Asked brother later that day. Are you sure you want me to? Sure. I want to see how it turns out, she insisted. When it turned out that there was nothing very spooky about the terrible, terrible wailing noise, it was caused by the wind blowing across an opening in the roof of the cave. Like the noise when you make... Like uh, the noise you make? You can make when you blow across the top... Of a bottle. Of a bottle. Mm -hmm. Sister? Sister was a little disappointed. Mm -hmm. And that night, when she... When she and brother were all settled down in the cozy glow of Papa's old night lights. She said so. I was pretty disappointed by the way the case of the crying cave ended. Why? asked brother. Because, she said, I hoped the wailing... I was hoping. I was hoping... The whale, whaling, what would be a really spooky, scary monster? And she leaned down from her bunk over brothers and made a spooky, scary monster. Uh, cut that out! At, at, at him. Cut that out! cried brother. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Brother scared him, and and sister scared him back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then sister went right to sleep, but brother lay awake for quite some time, listening to the owl hoots and thinking that maybe he had enough mysteries for a while. <laughs> uh, like the end. You liked it? You like listening to the owl hoots after all that commotion, and you like the owl hoots. <laughs> <laughs> the bear sting bears go to the doctor. Take a deep breath. Stick out your tongue. Come see Dr. Grizzly while you are young. Tomorrow said Mama Bear as she helped the cubs get ready for bed. You'll be going to the doctor for a checkup. Doctor, said Brother Bear, we're not sick. And what's a checkup? asked Sister Bear, a little worried. It's just what it sounds like, said Mama. Gr Dr. Grizzly will check to see if you are growing the way healthy cubs should. Will it hurt? Asked sister, pulling the covers up close. Now, now, said Papa Bear as he kissed her good night. You just settle down. There's no, absolutely nothing to worry about. But sister wasn't so sure. The next morning, after a good breakfast, the family got in into their red roadster and were on their way. Do you ever get checkups, Mama? Sister asked as they drew, drove along the dr dusty dirt road. Yes, I do, answered Mama. I don't need checkups anymore, bragged Papa, because I, I, ha, 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 
never get sick. That was quite a sneeze, said Mama. It is there. It's, it's this dusty road, said Papa, turning onto the main highway into Bear Town. They pulled to a stop in front of the doctor's office. Come, Cubs, said Mama. We don't want to be late for our appointment. But Brother held back. He remembered something. Are we going to get shots? He asked. That's up to two, two, uh, 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 two. The doctor said, Papa, sneezing an even bigger sneeze than before. Bless you, said Mama. It's just this bright sunlight, sniffed Papa. I never get sick. <laughs> the doctor. The waiting room was a busy, cheerful place with pictures to, on the walls, books to look at, and puzzles to do. Brother started a puzzle. Sister took a book, but she didn't really look at it. Other bears were coming in, and she looked around the room at them. There were cubs of all ages with their parents. Some of the smallest cubs looked a little worried. Sister smiled so they wouldn't be afraid. There was a big cub with a cast on his leg. It had names and funny drawings all over it. He let brother write his name on it for luck. And sister? And sister? Drew a picture. Mm -hmm. Funny. There was even a little baby cub, only a few weeks old. Oh. <laughs> Next, Next, called Dr. Grizzly, it was brother's and sister's turn. Dr. Grizzly was friendly, but she got right down to work. She had a lot of bears to take care of and not much time to waste. First, she, she weighed and measured the cubs. Mm -hmm. Fine, she said. You both gained weight nicely and grown taller. She, she listened to their chests with a stethoscope and poked them all over to check it on everything inside. Mm -hmm. Then Dr. Grizzly took each cub's temperature to see if it was normal. 98.6. She checked their throats. Then she looked at their eyes. <laughs> Owl and ears and noses with a with a special little light. What owl you say? That it looks like an owl. That's a nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's the little cub's nose. Mm -hmm. Next, she tested their hearing by whispering very softly. Mm -hmm. Then came the eye test. Brother read every letter except the very smallest. Sister didn't know all the letters yet, so she read the special chart that looked like this. Mm -hmm. Very good, said the doctor, as she studied some papers in a folder. Sister whispered to brother, so far. It hasn't hurt at all. Well, that pretty much takes care of it, said Dr. Grizzly, looking through her eyeglasses at the papers. Except all the papers? At the, pa at the papers, all. Oh. At the papers? Mm. Except for one thing, 
I see it's time for your booster shots. Hmm. I knew it, said brother. Why do we have to take to have shots when we're not even sick, said sister. Now, sister, said papa, the doc, 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 ha <laughs> Doctor knows best. <laughs> <laughs> Bless uh, you. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Bless you, said Dr. Grizzly. And that's a very good question, sister. As she got the shots ready, she called out into the waiting room. I've got a brave little cub who's here, who's going to show you all how to take a shot. Mm -hmm. Getting back to your question, sister, said Dr. Grizzly. You see, there are men, some kinds of medicine that you take after you get sick. And those were, were, are very useful. Mm -hmm. But this kind of shot is a special, special medicine that keeps you from getting sick. Will it hurt? asked sister. Not nearly as much as biting your tongue or bumping your shin. The doctor explained. There, all done. Dr. Grizzly was right, and it happened so fast that sister didn't even have time to say, Ouch! The little cubs who were watching were very impressed. So was brother. Mm hmm, what a brave cub. After brother's shot, Papa said, Well, doctor, we'll be go, 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 ah, Go in now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Just a minute, Papa Bear, said Dr. Grizzly. Let me take a look at you. Let me have a look. Let me have a look at you. Mm -hmm. But I never get sick, Papa started to say. Hmm, temperature above normal. Hmm, thought red. Hmm, nose all stuffed. Time for your medicine, Papa, said the mm -hmm. cubs, offering him a big spoonful of the gooey pink stuff that Grizzly, Dr. Dr. Grizzly, prescribed. prescribed for his cold. Mm -hmm. Well, said Papa, smiling weakly, I hardly ever get sick. <laughs> He's still saying it. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, the bear and sting bear and the messy room. When small bears forget to pick up store and stash some of their favorite things end up in the trash from the outside the bear's tree house which stood beside which stood beside a sunny dirt road deep in bear country looks very neat and well kept the flower bed sparkled with red yellow and blue tulips the woodwork was freshly painted and in good repair. The grass was cut and the vegetable patch was properly, properly weeded. Even the bird's nest that perched on one of the treehouse branches was well trimmed. <clears throat> Inside of the bear's treehouse was neat and clean too. Pictures were straight. The, the, pic, the piano was dusted. The kitchen was spick and span. The, even the basement was neat and clean. And if you think it's easy to keep a treehouse basement neat and clean, well, you've never tried to do it. <laughs> yes. The bear's treehouse was the lesson in neatness. Was a lesson? 
was a lesson in neatness and cleanliness, mm-hmm. except for one place, Brother Bear and Sister Bear's room. It was a mess. Oh, my. Mm-hmm. A dust catch in old wall. Help, helter, skelter, skelter mess. I have done jigsaw puzzle gathered in dust. Gathered or, dust? Gathered dust in one, one corner. corner of the room. A group of brothers' dinosaur models collected cobwebs in another. Sisters' stuffed animals were everywhere. As for the cubs, big storage closet. Well, just be careful. Uh, uh, you open how it? you open it? Mm-hmm. Uh, it wasn't that brother and sister were naturally messy. They tried to keep their room straight. They made their beds most of the time. They slept and picked up once in a while. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the trouble was that when clean up time came, they spent more time arguing. Spent. Spent mm-hmm. time. More time arguing than cleaning. How am I supposed to sweep the floor? Sweep with? With your dumb dinosaur toys all over the floor, argued sister. They're not toys, they're models. And don't move them. I'm working on a setup of the plus don't. Then H, brother protested. Play, oh, play. Pleistocene? Well, Pleistocene. Pleistocene, shouted sister. But not only was brother and sister's room a mess. Not but only brother, brother and sister's room was a mess. But brother and sister were getting up to be a mess too. Always arguing about clean up chores instead of sharing the job and working as a team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we need to cooperate, yeah? And work well with each other. Mm-hmm. When you do, what you what usually, what usually happened, what was that while the cubs argued about whose turn it was to do what? Mama took the broom and did the sweeping herself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the mama is angry. And she often did the picking up too. Th- that was the worst part. The picking up and the putting away. Well, the mess just seemed to build up and build up until one day. Maybe it because... Maybe it was? Maybe it was because Mama's back was a little stiff. Or maybe stepping on Brother's airplane cement. Or maybe she was just fed up with that messy room. Whatever it was, Mama Bear lost her temper. <laughs> She stormed in, into the cub's room with a big box. The first thing, the first thing we have to do is get rid of all this junk. Junk? said brother and sister, watching in horror as Mama began to throw things in the box. Into the box. Into the box. My teddy isn't junk. Queen sister, my bird nest collection isn't junk, yelled brother at the top of his lungs. She the screaming and yelling got so loud that it reached Papa, who was in the in his workshop, in his workshop putting the the finishing touches on a batch of chairs. 
that had been ordered by one of the customers. Of his. Of his customers. Mm -hmm. He couldn't imagine what was wrong. He hurried up the stairs and looked into the messy, noisy room. It didn't. He, it didn't take a deep thinker to figure out what was what, going what on. Was going on. Mm -hmm. Mom, Papa got Mama and the cubs attention and called the family meeting right then and there. Now, the mess has really built up in this room, he said. And in fact, it's the worst case of mess, messy build-up I've ever seen. And it isn't fair, hmm. he continued. <laughs> it, it isn't fair to your mama and me. Because we have a lot of other things, of, uh, uh, other of other things to take care of, and it isn't fair to you, because really, because you're really. because you really can't have fun or relax in a room that's that's such a terrible mess. <laughs> <laughs> But Mama's putting all my things into that box, even my teddy, said sister. sister. And my things too, cried brother. And Papa had an idea, a box. Yes, he said, better yet, a lot of different kinds of boxes, a big toy box, a large toys, I can make one for you in my shop and some smaller bo boxes for your collections and models. Mm -hmm. uh, and how about one of those boards with holes and pegs to hang things on? Asked sister. A pegboard, mm, said, said Papa. Papa. Great, a map, a great, great a idea. All this room needs a little organization, a little organization, and a few rules, added Mama. Rules about more sweeping and less arguing about and not leaving things together, dusts and cobwebs. Mm. What are cobwebs? Webs, the webs of the spiders. Papa set to work making a fine big toy box. Oh, that's neat. And mm -hmm. a large pegboard. Mm -hmm. While the cubs and mama hurried out the to toys, books, and games, and games and, and puzzles. puzzles, and put them into boxes that fit neatly into the closet. Every box was clearly labeled. Mm -hmm. This is very important to organize. Is it important to label too? Yes. You can find your things easily. Some of the cubs' things did end up in Mama's big throwaway box. Not Sister's Teddy, of course. But the, some of Brother's bird nests, the crumbling, falling apart ones. <laughs> it was a very, it was a very big job, big job cleaning. cleaning. Up, up all that messy, all that, all that messy mm -hmm. buildup, but after a lot of straightening, it, the what? what? Straightening. Straightening up and putting away, the job was finally finished. Wow, said brother. That was quite a job, but it was worth it. Well, it looks like a whole new room, said sister. The cubs were right. And Papa had been right, too. He See was. how the boxes are labeled? Mm -hmm. Shells, stones, a box for stickers, feathers, cards. Fishes. What else? Doll clothes. 
paper dolls. Mm -hmm. And dishes. Yeah. Blocks. Okay. Let's keep going. Feathers, cards. See, that way they can tape, find tape. their toys and their stuff very easily. Sports equipment, ga mm -hmm. games, yarn, cloth, mm -hmm. clay, model kits, rocks, dinosaurs. And Papa had been right too. It was more enjoyable to live in a, a neat, clean, well organized room, and it's so much more relaxing. It wasn't as exciting as to open the big storage closet now, but it was much more polo practical, practical mm -hmm. and a lot, lot more, more fun, fun. Ooh, well and the mama is happy well now now the look are happy now look at booby oh mm -hmm. i held up five fingers what does that mean that means it's too difficult for me no it's not too difficult oh. yeah it is a few words are difficult to pronounce i did that mm -hmm. love this let's read this too Welcome to Bear Country, home of the Bernstein Bears. For four years, Stan and Jane Bernstein have written and illustrated more than a hundred books about their bear family. Among them, the best-selling Bernstein Bears first time books with good-natured wisdom, gentle humor, and the dollop of love. First time books have been have eased the way of for generations of children and parents through all sorts of new experiences. Five of these enduring favorites are collected in this volume. Perfect for the family reading. Okay, new so baby sir, mm -hmm. sitter dark doctor in the dark. Mm-hmm. And the messy room. Go to the doctor and the messy room. Okay, see you later, alligator. See you later.